NASA says Voyager 1 has traveled over 18 billion kilometers. NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information. Three minutes ago, Voyager 1 did the unthinkable. It turned back and sent a terrifying signal to Earth. This ancient probe, built with technology older than most of today's computers, has survived the impossible. And now it has uncovered something so shocking that scientists are scrambling for answers. Tune in, because what Voyager 1 just found could change everything we know about the universe. A message from the unknown. Now, Voyager 1 just turned back and sent something shocking to Earth. Scientists are freaking out over the data. What did it find? Why is it making everyone nervous? Let's dive into this mystery and figure out what's going on. Then a chilling pattern emerged. Something out there had responded. Voyager 1 has been flying far, far away, past the part of space we call the heliosphere. Back in the 1960s, a brilliant scientist named Gary Flandro figured out something cool. Between the late 1970s and early 1980s, the big planets, Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus, would line up just right, creating a once-in-a-lifetime chance for a spacecraft to slingshot past them using their gravity. This perfect setup only happens every 176 years, so NASA had to move fast. That's how Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, were launched just 15 days apart in 1977. These probes were only supposed to last four years, but here we are, four and a half decades later, and they're still going. They've flown past planets, dodged asteroid belts, and kept sending back mind-blowing discoveries. Voyager 1 has traveled over 14 billion miles away from Earth, the farthest any human-made object has ever gone. It's been through thick asteroid belts, past Jupiter and Saturn, and even took some of the most incredible space photos ever seen. It also made history by being the first spacecraft to reach interstellar space, the area beyond the influence of our Sun. The crazy part? This thing has a memory of just 69 kilobytes. That's less than what a phone uses to send a single text message. And yet it's out there holding onto secrets about deep space. It transmits signals using a weak 23 watt radio, which is about the same as the light bulb in a fridge. But even with all its limits, Voyager 1 has managed to keep in touch with Earth. One of the wildest things it encountered was the Oort cloud a massive field of icy comets at the edge of the solar system. Astronomer Jan Oort predicted its existence way back in 1950, but as Voyager 1 passed through it and entered interstellar space, scientists noticed something weird. The edge of our solar system, where our sun's influence ends, is called the heliopause. When Voyager 1 crossed it in 2012, scientists expected a sudden change, more energetic particles from exploded stars, a shift in magnetic fields, and clear proof it had entered interstellar space. But that's not what happened. Instead, there was an unexpected surge in plasma density, but the magnetic field barely changed. That was a huge red flag. Scientists had always thought the interstellar magnetic field would be different from the sun's magnetic field. But it wasn't. It stayed almost the same. This left everyone scratching their heads. How was that even possible? Was Voyager 1 in some strange, unexplored space region? Was there something out there no one had ever predicted? And then, just three minutes ago, Voyager 1 turned back and sent new data to Earth. What it found is something even scarier than scientists imagine. The mystery deepens, and this is only the beginning. The further this tiny probe moves into space, the more unsettling its discoveries become. Out there, billions of miles from home, it has sent information that challenges everything previously thought about space. Deep space is not empty, it is not silent, and it is definitely not what scientists expected. Over the years, this spacecraft has helped piece together clues about the universe, but it has also introduced new puzzles. The data it has been transmitting suggests there are unknown forces in deep space, things humanity has never encountered before. Some scientists believe these might be cosmic waves or bursts of energy from far off star systems. Others think it could be evidence of something even more mysterious, something outside the realm of known physics. One of the strangest signals ever received came from a region far beyond the heliopause. The numbers didn't make sense. It was as if Voyager 1 had stumbled into a zone where the rules of space and time behaved differently. 
The information it sent back was like a scrambled message from an alien world, something beyond human comprehension. The Voyager's epic journey began with a gravity assist from Venus, a maneuver never before attempted by spacecraft on their way to Mercury, making them true trailblazers. But it wasn't an easy feat, with margins of error measured in tens of minutes and multiple attempts to get it right. The first leg of their voyage to Jupiter took them to a distance 10 times farther from Earth than Mercury, and they had to navigate through the treacherous asteroid belt, a topic of much debate and speculation beforehand. In the 1970s, Pioneer 10 and 11 blazed a path through the supposedly dense asteroid belt unscathed, paving the way for Voyager. But Voyager's challenges didn't end there, with only 69 kilobytes of memory, equivalent to a fraction of a smartphone's capacity, the Voyager computers had to rely on onboard intelligence to manage the complexities of their journey. The data gathered by the instruments on board was stored on 8-track tape recorders before being transmitted back to Earth by a modest 23-watt transmitter, about as powerful as a refrigerator light bulb. Equipped with 12-feet-wide dish antennas, the Voyagers used radio communication traveling at the speed of light to send and receive messages. But their immense distance from Earth, advancing by three or four light seconds every day, presented challenges in staying connected. The signals from Voyager 2 took over 18 hours to catch up, and the growing interference from Earth's noise, including radios, televisions, cell phones and more, made it increasingly difficult to hear the faint whispers from the spacecraft. Yet despite these obstacles, the Voyagers have defied the odds and continue to surprise astronomers with unexpected discoveries in the interstellar void. Their journey has rewritten our cosmic playbook and altered our understanding of the unknown realms of space. Far beyond our solar system lies the enigmatic Oort Cloud, a celestial gathering of comet-like entities bound together by the Sun's gravitational pull. Stretching halfway towards the nearest star, it remains a distant realm that the Voyagers are slowly but steadily making their way towards. However, interstellar space where the solar wind phenomena give way is a more accessible frontier. It's where the heliopause, the border between our solar system and the interstellar space, marks the beginning of uncharted territory. Initially, estimates of the heliopause's distance before the Voyager probes reached it were inconsistent. But assuming it to be around 50 astronomical units, AU, the mission's funding was increased. Yet, as the spacecraft departed from this landmark, no expected signs of interstellar transit were detected, leaving scientists perplexed. One of the anticipated indicators of crossing into interstellar space was an abrupt increase in galactic cosmic rays. High energy particles expelled from supernovae and other cosmic cataclysms at nearly the speed of light. However, most low-energy cosmic rays are deflected by the massive magnetic shield created by the heliosphere, which protects our inner solar system from the majority of external threats. The Voyager team was also keeping a close eye on any changes in the dominant magnetic field as the spacecraft ventured further. The interstellar medium composed of ionized gases and influenced by nearby stars was expected to have a different magnetic field orientation compared to the heliosphere. Yet the Voyagers reported no such alterations, adding to the mystery. It was on August 25, 2012, when Voyager 1 finally crossed the heliopause and transmitted back intriguing data. While it did confirm the expected increase in plasma density, there was no indication of a shift in the ambient magnetic field's direction. This was unexpected as it was assumed that a change in magnetic field direction would occur when transitioning from a region where the Sun's magnetic field prevailed to one influenced by other stars. In November 2018, Voyager 2 embarked on an extraordinary journey to the interstellar seashore, arriving at the heliopause, the border of our solar system, 120 astronomical units, AU, from Earth, the same distance reached by its twin six years prior. But what puzzled scientists was that Voyager 2 detected no changes in the magnetic field as per the theoretical models, adding yet another enigma to the mix. According to predictions, the heliosphere, influenced by the Sun's 11-year cycle, should have ebbed and flowed, just like the solar wind. However, none of the existing models could explain this discrepancy, as the solar wind was at its strongest when Voyager 2 arrived 
suggesting that the heliopause should have been farther out than 120 AU. As the Voyager probes venture closer to the interstellar medium, their data reveals intriguing small-scale changes near the heliopause, influenced by the heliosphere's interactions. Yet at vast scales, the magnetic field shows negligible variation. This raises questions about whether the spacecraft will eventually leave these turbulent shores behind and encounter the true interstellar magnetic field, or if the current understanding of the simulation is entirely off the mark. Some academics speculate that the voyagers may still be within the heliosphere, while others are convinced by the significant increase in galactic cosmic rays and plasma density detected by the probes pointing towards the majority opinion. Solving one of the most fundamental puzzles about the heliosphere is akin to trying to see a goldfish bowl from the perspective of the fish. We need an interstellar probe to shed light on it from the outside. However, while some technologies like answering machines, VCRs and pennies have become obsolete, the voyagers continue to defy the odds with their outdated yet resilient systems. These spacecrafts are powered by technology from 50 years ago, with minimal software to operate them and their designers couldn't rely on complex lines of code. Voyager 2 currently has five operational instruments, while Voyager 1 has four, all powered by a mechanism that converts heat from plutonium's radioactive decay into electricity. But NASA has had to resort to a triage mode as the power output of the Voyagers diminishes by approximately 4 watts every year. Three years ago, the mission's engineers had to shut off the heater for the cosmic ray detector, a crucial instrument for determining the heliopause transit. Despite everyone's expectation of its failure, the instrument kept functioning, even in extreme temperatures that were well beyond its tested limits, a truly astounding feat. The magnetometer and the plasma science instrument are expected to be the last instruments to shut down as they are located inside the spacecraft's main body, warmed by the heat produced by the computers, while the other instruments are mounted on a 43-foot-long fiberglass boom. What lies ahead for the voyagers? If all goes according to plan, scientists might be able to extend their missions until 2030, but the real game-changer is power. It's the determining factor even though the voyagers will keep forging ahead, undeterred by challenges. In a mind-boggling time frame of 16,700 years, Voyager 1 will pass by Proxima Centauri, our closest neighbouring star. Voyager 2 will follow suit 3,600 years later. After that, they will continue to orbit the galaxy for millions of years, long after our Sun has faded away and the heliosphere has vanished. These resilient spacecrafts will still be there, largely intact, unlike our tiny blue planet. Perhaps they may even deliver a final message at some point during their endless journey. However, it won't be transmitted over the radio, and if it is, there won't be any humans. The Voyager's saga continues to be a testament to human exploration and scientific curiosity, defying the limits of time and space. Now let's hear your thoughts on the Voyagers in the comments below.